been 40 years since the CDC reported the first cases of HIV and AIDS. And since then, the virus has claimed 32 million lives globally, more than 700,000 right here in the United States. And as we commemorate World AIDS Day today, we want to highlight the fact that HIV AIDS continues to be a threat. Based on the most recent CDC statistics, 1.2 million people in the United States are HIV positive. 13% of them don't know it and need testing. HIV AIDS continues to disproportionately impact blacks and Latinos. Guillermo Chacon, the president of the Latino Commission on AIDS, joins us this morning to explain why these disparities exist and what's being done to address, address these issues. Good morning, Guillermo. Thanks so much for being with us today. Good morning, Hazel. Good morning, Dan. Good morning. So I understand you are joining us from Washington, D.C. this morning, where you've been invited to the White House by the president to commemorate World AIDS Day. Can you tell us what he'll be announcing today, a major announcement? That's right. You know, it is very important to pause, reflect, and uh, recommit on, on this day globally. And the White House is hosting uh, today at 2.30 p.m. And a very important announcement. President Biden will be unveiling an updated national HIV strategy plus uh, plans to end HIV by 2030. It's a very important date uh, for the nation. You know, the number of people who have tested HIV positive been on the decline since the height of the AIDS epidemic in the 80s. So how many people currently are infected with HIV annually? Annually, right now, according to the CDC, the Centers of Disease Control, close to 38, 39,000 people uh, expose themselves to HIV. And as you highlight on the first, um, in your intro, yeah. was that uh, 1.2, a little bit more than 1.2 million people currently are living with HIV. It's a moment to, again, renew our commitment to raise awareness and encourage people to know their status when we talk about HIV. Yeah, are those numbers actually higher in big cities? like New York? Mm. Unfortunately, New York City is still the epicenter of this epidemic when we talk about HIV. Let me remind to the audience that one point, uh, uh, over 100,000, 128,000 people, New Yorkers living with HIV right now. And as, 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 as a crisis, and remind all of you, by the way, that right in the midtown Manhattan around 12 and 7 is the New York City AIDS Memorial. Right. We pay tribute to over 100,000 New Yorkers that has, that we, that passed due to HIV. So, you know, the stats show that cases, specifically among blacks and Latinos, that they're higher, Guillermo, than any other ethnic groups, right? And among gay and bisexual men who are HIV positive, an estimated 83% of black men and 80% of Latino men got a diagnosis compared with 90% of white men. So is this because I guess there's a, a cultural stigma surrounding HIV or is it a matter of access? I, both, Dan. Unfortunately, we have an issue of uh, the urgent need to intensify, customize, and tailor the engagement, especially community-based organizations who knows better, faith-based communities. We need to really diversify a gay a, and bisexual men, both young and, and um, middle-aged, Black and Latinos are heavily, heavily impacted. We need to go back and revisit how we do awareness and from junior high all the way up because HIV do not discriminate. And if we don't do a better job, and we're very, very excited about, you know, we're gonna have a new mayor on, on January 1st, and this new administration has promised to go deeply to close the gap in terms of racial and ethnic disparities. Guillermo, thank you so much for being here on such an important day. Good luck today at the White House. Um, you know, it's a big day, and, and really, for all the advocacy work that you do, not only today, but every single day, it's really important stuff. Thank you, Hazel. Thank you, Dan. Okay. Be safe. Right Me back too. at you.